Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about Azure regions and availability zones. So watch the video till the end. Azure regions. There are almost 76 plus approximately where Azure have created their data center. And in order to understand what is Azure region, in order to uh, understand the concept of this Azure region when we will select the region, what you need to do is that you need to type something like that, Azure Infrastructure Map. And what you need to do is, you need to click on this first link. This is a very nice uh, representation of Azure regions that uh, Microsoft has created. Now what Azure is showing here is our globe, which is Earth, right? And all these blue dots which you are able to see, these are representing the Azure regions. And when you will click on them, it will also give you an idea, right? China North 3, right? Here, if you'll, if you'll move, you will click on this West Europe. It will show like this. But it will not tell you exactly in West Europe region, where exactly the data center is. It is just giving you a general picture of Poland Central, of Switzerland North, right? So, and it is also showing us one more thing, that all these data centers are somehow interconnected to each other. So any data center is not isolated from any other data center. All the data centers are connected to each other, regardless of whatever the location that they are created in. So you will be able to see all over across the world in all the geographic, major geographic locations, which is Asia, which is Africa, right? Uh, which is uh, South America, North America, right? Here in Australia, also down below here, Australia, uh, I think somewhere here, New Zealand, everything you will be able to see all, even in China also it is there, right? If you are but uh, but not if not all the data centers in china is accessible because china is having a uh, very uh, hardcore hardcore rule or hardcore rule in terms of data uh, resiliency or or data sharing on their part so anyhow we are not concerned more about the regions here these three regions we are more concerned about the regions which are here in uh, Euro european side in in african side in indian side in american side and all these in australian side right so these are nothing but these are data centers which Microsoft Azure have created in these regions. What I'm going to do is that I am going to get inside that, that specific region, right? And inside that specific region, there is a concept called as availability zone, right? Now we need to understand what this availability zone is. So I'm just going to use this whiteboard in order for us to understand the concept of availability zone. So just think about this as one of the data center which let's say azure has created right this is just representing one of the data center which azure has created so this is a region which is representing east us region all right inside this east us region we have data center and when i am talking about data center data center will have these three specific features it will have its own pooling. It will have its own networking. So it will not be dependent on any other data center. It will have its own pooling feature. It will have its own networking feature. It will have its own power supply. Now, when I'm saying region East US, if you'll imagine East US will be a very large area, right? It will be a very large area. Inside East US, what Azure has done, it has created data centers in multiple locations. What Azure has done, it has created data centers in multiple locations inside East US region. And as we have just seen that all the data centers are interconnected to each other. So these data centers will also be interconnected to each other like this. This can be one or more data center. We call these types of data centers 
as availability zone. So this is availability zone one. This is availability zone two. This is availability zone three. Inside a region, if we have multiple data centers deployed in multiple locations, we call them as availability zone. Inside a region, if Azure provides availability zone, it will be by default three availability zones: AZ one, AZ two, and AZ three. The, the round time, if a packet will, will get created in availability zone 1, if, we, if, if you will look at the round flow of this packet from availability zone 1 to 2 to 3 is the round time, we also call it as round time, will be less than 2 milliseconds, which is very fast, right? So, so which means that these three availability zones have, have a very very high bandwidth and less latency connectivity in between them. But all these availability zones are inside one region, which is East US region. So what is happening here is that Azure has created its data centers in multiple locations inside complete world. They have divided those locations into regions. Regions are a very huge uh, area. One of the region is for an example is East US. Inside that huge area, it has found out localities, locations inside which it has created its one or more data center in one location. Like that, if Azure has created multiple locations inside one region, we call those locations in technical term as availability zone. It is not hard and fast that in one availability zone, only one data center will be there. It can have one or more data center, right? But these availability zones must be more than, I think, at least 100 miles away from each other in the same region, right? So they are pretty much away from each other so that if something happens to the location where this availability zone is having issues, then it is not then it will not affect the other availability zones. That is the use case of the availability zone. So if you, for an example, if you want to create your resources in East US region, you can deploy your resources in multiple availability zones. For an example, I'll deploy three of my VMs, which are gonna be used for same service. So if, for an example, one availability zone goes down and other two availability zones are up, then your service which you are providing is up. That is the reason why Azure promotes to use availability zones when you have multiple resources deployed to provide a single service, which will also exhale your SLA with your client. SLA is service level agreement where you will say that we are going to provide this much amount of service in this much amount of time. And this much amount will be the downtime. So you can push down the downtime and you can push up the availability of your service if you are using multiple availability zones when you will be deploying your resources. That is the exact reason why you have the availability zones in place. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy and if in case you missed upon anything or if you could not understand anything from what our trainers explained then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure admin certification for beginners along with some question and answers and in this class you'll be learning about who should learn azure cloud and why we'll be learning about azure certification roadmap for beginners and a lot of demos and about Azure core services, more than 30 plus hands-on labs and whatnot. And if you want to register for this free class, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash az10402. So just now, let me just give you a demo for the same. All right, so what you have to do is just open your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash az10402. After that, you'll be seeing a page like this. You just have to click on book your seats now. And after that, just select an event date when you're available, add your name, add your email address, add your phone number and click on yes, save my seat now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Just save that link, add it to your calendars 
and I'll see you in this class. Till then, take care and keep learning.